hustle here. Cromer three left side, and that rattles in. Cameron Jackson with it. There's Fletcher McGee. Deep three left wing. Range because he's in the midcourt. There's a deep three. Cromer last second of pass, and boy, Burrell was looking. Trying to go back to Jackson. Nice backdoor cut. Think Jackson coming off that 25 points career high. Shot blocked by Ike Banks. Long with a run out. Two on two, long to the hoop, and he got this one to. Trying to find Hoover, shot for three in front of the Buccaneer bench. Sia has been held in check today. I say that, follow away jumper good. issue for leading the ball. Merriweather, tough pull up jumper. Nice backdoor play. What a scoop shot by Fletcher McGee. Finds Burrell, he'll fire the three. David Burrell knocks down the three. Brea guarding the smaller oh, Garcia. Man. And Jim to get to the rim. Oh my goodness, McGee a double clutch three and he hit it. Bradford with the clock winding down. Is fouled in the bucket, goes at the free throw line. I think they got Fletcher McGee. And those jump shooters, though, compound that, the problem. Well, and that's what the Bucks probably have to each out of high low to David Burrell against the much smaller Salvo, puts it up and in. And both Terriers could be broken here. Garcia getting to the rim. Pegram left hand lamp. What an assist. They're trying to do it without Fletcher McGee on the floor. Hoover shot. Quick catch, turn for three. Good. And look at Hoover. David Burrell backs his way down, left-handed shot up and in. It's not just the guy with the ball. The other floor needs to know that the shot clock's expiring. Go to the offensive glass. Mascara Perea with a big block. Cromer all the way in. Boy, they just parted like the Red Sea for him. And they left McGee open slightly. Then he waited to somebody to guard him before he hit the three. Where does that energy come from? <laughs> I don't know. Fields. Cromer just got it going. His last bucket, now reverse layup, and no good. Tapped up and in by Tevin Glass. Jackson back to the basket, trying to back his way down. A little running hook shot was blocked by Ike Banks. Jackson, boy, Garcia, free run, nice layup. Bradford's going to eye another triple and knock it down. And that's high field goal percentages with good defenses, shots with high degrees of difficulty. Spread you and put shooters far apart from each other. They're gonna score the bucket. Pegram, or Pegram will pick up the foul. And now with seven seconds, Bradford will try to make something happen. Pump fake forces up a shot in, and that's what he is. Boy, I'm telling you, DeSante Bradford, if he could play the Terriers his whole career, to kind of put the Terriers on ice. And Cromer takes it all the way to the hoop and lays it up and in. Could be your answer. He's got 17. Timeout taken, Steve Ford. Certainly not foul. Want to keep the clock running now. McGee, turnaround jumper for two is good. Foot was inside the arc. And TJ Cromer will bounce it out. ETSU will pick up the victory. They improved to 15 and five on the season, five and two in league play. ETSU picks up the win over the Wofford Terriers, 79-72. Head coach Steve Forbes joined us here. And coach, this was a, a back and forth offensive yeah. game, but ultimately it came down, I thought, to the Bucks making some plays inside. We did. I thought, you know, Jay, I thought we shared the ball a lot better today on offense. And it started by playing inside out. And, you know, uh, I thought we established our post presence early by getting ball reversals and playing in there. And then it opened up some really good shots for our guards. And, you know, our starting three guards went 17 out of 26 from the field. You know, and that's a heck of a day for them. But I, I think, my, in my opinion, it all predicated off us playing inside first and then opening up the perimeter for them to get shots. Well, and I thought, that, you know, there's some guys that have a team's number, and DeSante Bradford, for whatever reason, his career yeah. has been great against Walford. He gets 17, so did T.J. Cromer, and then A.J. Merriweather, a season high with 16. Yeah. A.J.'s playing well. You know, he's playing uh, He's playing with a lot of confidence. He's uh, defending well, and he's shooting a really high percentage in league play. I'm really proud of him as a senior. He's really coming around and having a nice year. Coach, I thought the, another big thing was points off turnovers, ETSU. You were trailing 10-3. Uh, to 3. You ended up winning the category 21-16. It was huge. You know, we went into halftime, Jay, and we were nine, We had 19 turnovers at halftime. And I just told our guys – no, we had, I'm sorry, we had 15. I said, we can't come in here with 30. We, well, it's just almost be impossible to win the way they shoot the ball. And so we only had four, and that was huge. We, we turned that around in the second half. And the rebounding, you know, they're, they're lead, they lead the SoCon in, in – you know, and rebounding as far as, uh, you know, plus five. And we out-rebound plus eight. And I thought that was a big difference, too. Coach, you pick up the win. You're now five and two. You're going to head on the road to take on a very good, much improved Sanford Bulldog squad. Yeah, Scott's done an unbelievable job this year with his team. And I'm real, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him. He's a good man. And he's, they got a nice team. They had a tough game yesterday at chat. We know it's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a tough week, you know. But it's a fun week. That's what you want to have. 
you know, at this time of year is, is playing in big games. And so we know going down to Sanford on Wednesday will be a big game and then coming back home on Saturday to play chat. And then, you know, that will be the first round. And then we'll whip back through it one more time. Bucks victorious today by final score of 79-72 over the Wofford Terriers. They improved to 15-5 overall and 5-2 in league action.